Hey guys, Waterfaller41 here, and before we get into my video, I just want to quick check in on everyone, make sure everyone's staying safe out there. We got the COVID-19 pandemic going on right now. Uh, a lot of states are on lockdown or stayed home orders, so do what you can to kind of help the solution here. Uh, listen to the rules, stay inside, wash your hands, stay away from people. Um, let's stop the spread so we're not all locked at home. I know it's fun because we get to do a lot of truck parts, but I know a lot of people are hurting right now because they're not able to go to work. Um, so do your part, stay inside. Uh, do what you can, uh, and I, I truly appreciate all those working on the front line right now, particularly those in the healthcare business uh, that are kind of fighting this right in the trenches for everyone. Um, but without further ado, let's get into the project. So I'm stuck in quarantine. Uh, we've been at stay home orders for the last couple of weeks here, and I'm losing my mind. So I started looking around for products that I could do, uh, not heavy dollar projects. I didn't want to start burning up a lot of products burning up a lot of dollars and projects. But uh, one thing that I always wanted to do to my truck, and it's sort of a, uh, let's try it out and see how I like it, is fog light covers. So these are the Laminex fog light covers. They are direct cut, so they will fit right onto the 2019 and plus Ram Rebel fog lights. And essentially what they are is a pretty thick vinyl uh, film that goes over the top of your fog lights. So you can get them in any different color. You can get them tinted, you can get them in smoked. In my application, I got them in yellow. I think the yellow is going to be a nice accent on the white truck. I think I paid about $14, $15 for these things. So it's a pretty cheap project. Uh, it's You could install them. If you don't like them, pop them off, and what, you're out 15 bucks. So how do they work? So when you get them, they're, they're already pre-cut to the shape of your fog light. They have these tabs on the end. These are thumb tabs, so they help you mounting it. And then you have the option of either mounting them dry or wet mounting or wet application. So if you look back at my TVD wheel vinyl, uh, video, you see that I wet applied those those decals using Rapid Tack. So I'm going to use the same application method on these. So basically, you're going to spray down the fog light with Rapid Tack, pull off the backing here, and then apply it right to the fog light. A couple other things you're probably going to want to have readily available is a squeegee. Uh, I like the felt line ones, and I like the really small ones because you can get into the nooks and crannies, and then also a really sharp razor blade because once you do install these window films, you're going to want to cut the tabs off here. Or I suppose you could leave them on there. I think in one of the Laminex videos, they did leave it on there. So what are we going to do here? So I already went ahead and cleaned it about as best as I can. And it's nice on these Ram Rebel lights because there's a huge gap here between the bezel itself and the light. So it gives you a lot of room to really slide that film in there. So basically, you find the one that's cut for your side, spray it down in your wrap attack or whatever application fluid you're using, and then put it on there and then start squeegeeing out some of that liquid. So. First thing I'm gonna do is clean off everything really good, let it dry fully. Then I'm gonna remove the backing. I'm gonna spray everything with Rap Attack. Then I'm gonna go ahead and place the film on there, slide it around into place, and then squeegee out all the liquid, and then we're done. So it's a pretty quick project. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and knock out the driver's side fog lamp. So in full transparency, I already did the passenger side, just kind of test drive the installation, and I will say it's super easy. Uh, a couple tips to make this even easier. Uh, the first thing, before you go ahead and install anything, you really don't need these installation thumb tabs. So what I did is I just cut them uh, just a little bit, maybe left like an eighth of an inch. Uh, they're really only there to give you the ability to kind of get the light or get the film slipped up onto the fog light. But with the wrap attack and everything, it gives you the ability to slide things around pretty easily. I already went ahead and cleaned them off of Windex. The last thing I'm going to do before going ahead and installing the fog light cover is wipe everything down with isopropyl alcohol. So I'll put it on a paper towel, wipe everything down and make sure and get all the lint off there. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is, give me the sticky stuff. All right, then we're gonna spray everything with wrap attack. So I'm just gonna do either one or two quick spurts of this stuff. You just need enough so you can move the film around on the fog light. You don't need to saturate it. It's just there to give everything kind of a, a, a lubricated surface to slide it around. All right, then give me the squeegee. Then I'm gonna take my squeegee and then I'm gonna go from the middle of the light and I'm gonna push the fluid up and down. You got a lot of room to go down, so try that first to get a lot of the liquid out. But again, this is where it helps that you don't use that much wrap attack because you really don't need too much on here. One spray and move it quickly across the fog light should give you plenty uh, to work with. And then after I squeegee it, towel. We're gonna use a towel, we're gonna dab everything. And then I'm gonna hit, thing, hit the uh, lens cover itself with a uh, little bit of heat, not a lot, but enough to just kind of ev evaporate what, what moisture I have left underneath the film, and then I'll let it sit. So, Okay, so I went ahead and wiped down the fog light with isopropyl alcohol, got, 
everything's dried up pretty well. Then I also cut the thumb tabs a little bit on the film itself. Uh, so when you install these on your 2019 Ram, uh, the fatter end goes on the inside, so the inboard side of the fog light, and then it gets it tapers off in the end. So the next thing I'm going to do is take a tack So give me the sticky stuff. Sticky? Yep, that. So I'm going to take wrap tack and then I'm just going to, that's all you need. So just one or two sprays, just enough to give you a lubricated surface to slide that film around. Not yet, bud. Then the next thing I'm going to do is pull the backing off of this and I'm going to slip it on here and then we're going to slide it around and then we'll, I'll get back with you real quick and I'll show you how I squeegee it. Okay, so I have the Rapitec sprayed down there and I have the film loosely on there. So if you see, let's see, it moves around a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my squeegee and after making sure everything's lined up and properly cleared of the bezel, so the whole light is properly covered, then I'm going to take my squeegee and pull all that liquid film out of there. So I'll pull that liquid out of there and then go back, dab it with a microfiber. And then the last step I'm going to do is hit it with a little bit of heat just to make sure everything's sealed up nicely. Wipe everything down and we'll take a look at it afterwards. All right, so the fog light covers are installed and the project is complete. So it took all of about five minutes per side. So just a quick rundown of the process here. First thing I did was clean everything with glass cleaner, then cleaned it once again, kind of a final cleaning with isopropyl alcohol. After you clean it with isopropyl alcohol, you can go ahead and take your wrap attack spray two sprays don't get crazy with this stuff you don't need that much all you're trying to do is give a nice even layer of lubricant on the fog light surface so once you do put the laminex film on top of the fog light you, you have enough liquid there to move everything around once you move this into place then go ahead and start taking your squeegee and start in the middle of the film itself and push that liquid up and down uh, one of the tips here is if you grab a corner kind of anchor this down Especially in the beginning when you start that process of moving that liquid out of there It's gonna have a tendency depending on how much you use to move to move around if you do squeegee it so um, Kind of anchor it with a finger and then start moving it It doesn't take long before that stuff starts to set up and the fog light uh, cover starts to adhere to the fog light itself After you get all the film out of there go ahead and dab everything up with a microfiber and then hit it with a little bit of heat a little low temperature heat enough to just get all the last little bits out of there and then again use a microfiber just to push everything into place so with rapid tech it usually takes about an hour or two for everything to completely dry up and set so don't go crazy with washing your truck right away um you know if you're about to drive out in a winter storm maybe avoid that that way you give everything ample amount of time to dry up but i think it looks great so there's the driver's side and the passenger side now one thing I will say is I have a link for a coupon code and I'll put that down in the description. So if you want a little percentage off, I forget what it is, either 10 or 15, uh, go ahead down in the video description and hit that link and it'll take you right to, it should take you to the Laminex page. If not, it'll help you with uh, figuring out how to do that coupon code, but it'll give you a discount if this is the route you're going. I might do the clear ones on the headlights. These are super easy. All right, other than that, thank you very much for watching. Hope everyone's staying safe out there. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.